Well, hello, I'm Juanita Rasmus, and I'm an author, a speaker, and I've just written a book. It's called Learning to Be, Finding Your Center After the Bottom Falls Out. I'm here in IVP's, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> can you can you cut this out? Okay, IVP's bookshelf. It's like heaven filled with books. Okay, so there's something you gotta know about me. I'm a book lover. So right now, this is like a candy store. Everywhere I look, something good. My friend Lacey Finn Bargo's book. Oh my goodness, this is such an incredible book. Spiritual Conversations with Children. Lacey's the best. She's been working with children for at least 20 years. And her insights on how to engage children in a way that makes life with God real and not just some make-believe world, Lacey's the one. You want to see this. Oh, and my good friend Donna Barber. Now Donna and her husband Leroy Barber have been on the forefront of working with social justice all over this country. And so Donna has written a thoughtful book called Bread for the Resistance, 40 Devotionals for Justice People. And so often I think um, justice people aren't seen as contemplatives, but what Donna has done so skillfully is invited justice people people who are concerned with things in the world to be reflective and to find their grounding in the God who is also concerned about the things of the world. Now, my new friends, Beth and Dave Borum. This is an incredible book, When Faith Becomes Sight. It's their experience of being spiritual directors and walking through men and women through all kinds of life stuff and the kinds of learnings they've been able to walk alongside others and help them to see. You know, sometimes we just need somebody to help us see what we are not seeing. And I think Beth and Dave do an incredible job at that. You'll want to pick this up. Discovering Soul Care. Mindy Caliguar, a dear friend of mine, this is a light little book. You can drop it in your pocket, you can put it in your purse, and you can use it as a way of grounding yourself during the course of the day. Discovering Soul Care. If you need a light read with a hearty content, this is the good book for you to take a look at. One of the books that I haven't read yet, but I'm intrigued by the title, Brave Souls Experiencing the Audacious Power of Empathy. You know, with all that we have going on in our country right now, I think we need a good dose of empathy. What about you? And I believe this book just might have some insight for us. Thanks, Belinda Bowman. We appreciate you. Oh, another dear friend. It's so cool when you have friends who are authors. James Bryan Smith's newest book, The Magnificent Journey. Now, I haven't read this one all the way through yet. I've read some bits and pieces, and the parts that I've read remind me of the fact that this journey we're on as believers, as seekers, as those who are looking to be grounded in the eternal and yet the ever-present, James Bryan Smith is a great author, and he knows how to use words to ground us and to fortify us. And so I know this is going to be a good read as soon as I can finish the rest of it. Ah, uh, another dear friend, Rochella Parnum. This book is a personal journey of Rochella Parnum as she looks at the impact of comparison living. Her book is called Mythical Me. And I am so grateful that Rochella took the time to lay her soul out in print and the journey. You see, we're all bombarded with these notions about who we ought to be in and what looks good and would be appropriate and how we should be in the world. And oh, Rochella helps us to crack through all of that stuff and get to a place of authenticity where we recognize that our authentic self is the one God had in mind all along, and she invites us in to the spaces of engaging that authentic self. 
good book, great read. I have to say that if it were not for Richard Foster and his ministry, Renovari, that my life would be really, really different. I met Richard in 1997 uh, as we were planning a conference in Houston at the George R. Brown, and it was an opportunity that transformed my life, introduced me to the spiritual formation dimension of life with God. And so his books, his friendship, which he makes available through his books, have been a cornerstone of everything that has made my life transformative and has introduced me to the kingdom of God. Whew, I don't know if you'll ever get a chance to come to IVP's book collection, but if you do, bring your checkbook. You're gonna need it. So many beautiful ways to invest in transforming your soul.